Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing Friday, April 29th, 2021, getting caught up with readings for the channel. Thank you so much for your patience and your love and support of the channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Scorpio, we have about a month's worth of readings and messages to get out to you. So um, just keep in mind that on the other side, that time frames and dates and stuff don't really exist in the 5D, okay? We only deal with it here on the 3D, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to ring the bell 21 times because 21 is a power number that can shift and change energy, okay? So here we go. Calling upon the trusted ancestors and my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Here we go. We have the power of number 11. Some of you could be dealing with another Scorpio throughout the month of November or possibly a Sagittarius at the latter part of November. Or you could be a Scorpio that was indeed born in the month of November, of course, right? Um, also, too, the number 11 can also represent the justice card in the tarot deck. So you, some of you could be dealing straight up with a Libra for some of you. Power of number 7 could be dealing straight up with a Cancerian or a Leo throughout the month of July. We could also see the chariot card kick in. So that can mean about victory and the roads being open for you, whether this be in your romantic life or in your work and career life as well. Power of number eight, we could also see the strength card kick in. You could be dealing more specifically, possibly with a Leo and or a Virgo throughout the month of August, okay? Some of you could have been born in 1971 or 1978, possibly 1981 or even maybe 1987. Some of you could have a one-year-old child, a seven-year-old, an eight-year-old, or possibly an 11-year-old child. Okay, so those are the messages that I'm picking up off of the numbers. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we are going to, let's see, 7 and 8 is 15 plus the 1 is 16. We're going to go to the number 26. High Priestess card and the Lover's card could show up through the power of number 2 and number 6. So some of you could be dealing also too with a Pisces or an Aquarius throughout the month of February, and or you could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Gemini throughout the month of June, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Wow, there's some energy kicking in. 24, 25. And 26, trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. What is the main focal point for the energy for Friday, April 30th, 2021, please? What does Scorpio need to know right now? Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, a Vari couple of variable messages off of the Nine of Pentacles. First of all, some of you could be dealing with an earth sign straight up. And a, a, uh, I was about ready to say Aquarius again. Some of you guys are dealing with Aquariuses. With the Nine of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, and or a Capricorn, to be more specific. But the main focal point here with the Nine of Pentacles, this is representing, for some of you guys, feeling like you're in your singlehood, okay? And also, too, it can mean the singlehood card and or you are currently, for some of you, or for maybe a lot of you, 
working in on your finances right now. And a lot of you guys could be also too entrepreneurs or you're thinking about building a business, building a financial empire for yourself. Another symbolic message off of this card, especially with this deck, is we have the imagery, I consider this more like a hawk, okay? So basically what I feel like your trusted ancestors and your spirit guides are trying to tell you, Scorpio, is be very crystal clear in your visions and in your statements to the universe as to what it is that you really, truly want. Because the universe only answers to pretty much everything, okay? Like a yes, okay? Universe doesn't necessarily say no. The universe is going to say yes to whatever is going on in your subconscious mind. So it could be for some of you Scorpios out there that you're needing to focus in on your third eye chakra and also your crown chakra, your divine guidance. A lot of you guys are on a very strong spiritual path, okay? You're thinking differently than what you probably have from the time that you were raised. You may view God in a different way. You may uh, view the universe and the energies of the universe in a different way. Some of you are becoming more open-minded, okay, to basically possibly a new thought process, law of attraction, okay? And some of you guys are watching videos and manifestations and listening to binaural beats and doing your guided meditations for some of you, okay? But whatever project, Scorpio, that you're working on right now, something that could be very near and dear to your heart right now, is that you need to stay focused in on your goals and put time and energy into what it is also too for those of you who are single or feel like you're single. Maybe some of you guys feel like you know, you're physically in a partnership, but maybe you feel single in the relationship. Independence and confidence is needed. Maybe some of you guys have been possibly clingy on your partners or you, maybe you feel like your partner has been clingy in on you, okay? So some form of confidence is needed here too. It could be self-esteem. Maybe you're working in on your self-esteem, Scorpio, or your person is working in on self-esteem. Now, another message that I'm picking up from Spirit right now is that you may receive, in a certain situation, communication from your specific person that somebody here is indeed single. Maybe you've been waiting for your specific person to leave a third party situation. So I do feel like there is some form of communication that is also coming in off of this Nine of Pentacles. Okay, um, even though this Nine of Pentacles is basically a minor arcana card, I'm feeling compelled to clarify this energy and where it wants to be directed, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm-hmm. No more procrastination, no more delay. Whatever it is that you're working in on, Scorpio, be focused like a racehorse. This is the Princess of Swords. Some of you guys are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Libra, and or a Gemini for some of you, okay? On the bottom of the deck, before I shuffle again, the Eight of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There could be communication more specifically for those of you guys who are dealing straight up with Fire Signs, that you're going to be getting some swift, rapid communication from them. Or it could be, some of you guys could be contemplating also, too, about relocating or moving somewhere else. Maybe because there's more money, more opportunity, okay? But for whatever reason, this rushed energy, it could be that you may end up going from being single, also too, into a partnership like that. Could very well be, okay? So, so far what I'm feeling off of the energies of these two cards, there's still some missing links, okay? There's still some missing links of energy, but something here or someone needs to hustle, and not procrastinate and not delay on their personal dreams and goals. Some of you may need to cut back also too. I am, I'm picking up that some of you may need to cut back on spending habits. 
okay? Um, and do more time and investment uh, into your personal dreams and goals, okay? Instead of always having the need or the feel to possibly buy things to help heal certain emotions that could be going on with inside of you. That is a very specific message for a specific group of Scorpios, okay? Let's see what else is going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that's enough. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, this is about, for some of you guys, this is about money. And the Ace of Pentacles can also, too, bring in marriage proposals. It can also bring in long-term commitment and partnerships. You guys have got an Ace, okay? So, again... It could be that time and energy spent on your personal dreams and goals need to be invested wisely. You need to stay focused like a hawk. Place your time and energy into, if you're building something right now, Scorpio, for the better for your future financial investment. Some of you guys may need to go talk to a banker, possibly. You never know. Um, how to invest your money appropriately. Some of you guys could be investing in the stock market. Could very well be. But I'm also picking up the relationship aspect that something here, like I said, you could end up going from being single all of a sudden and into a committed relationship. Okay, so let's take a deeper look, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. For the Princess of Swords, one, two. Eleven for the Ace of Pentacles and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine for the Nine of Pentacles. Trusted ancestors, what is this rushed energy? Whether this be Scorpio cutting out a certain expenditures, being focused like a hawk, putting time and energy and investment into something that they are passionate about, or if this is the rushed energy of somebody going from being single into partnership how is this coming about please oh my freaking god four wands twin flame soulmate 1111 connection yes you guys some of you guys are going to be going into solid committed partnerships and also too some of you guys could be thinking possibly if you were let's say for example you're an entrepreneur okay and, you know, your time and energy, this can also bring in business partnerships as well. Okay, maybe for some of you guys, you decided to put your romantic life on the back burner. Maybe you're just all focused in on the money right now, and that's fine. You could have some really great partnership or somebody who captures the vision of what it is that you're trying to do or whatever it is that you're trying to build. Some of you guys might even be trying to build websites right now. But on the other aspect, relationships, okay, committed, going from being single, and there is marriage. There is strong marriage here today in the cards, okay? Message from the Ace of Pentacles, please. How is this major offer coming into Scorpio, whether this be for their career, their personal goals and dreams, and or long-term partnerships and commitment? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you guys. You know what? Listen. Summertime process, some of you guys are dealing straight up with a hardcore Leo. For some of you, the sun card can represent the sign of Leo. Everything that you have put your mental time, energy, and focus into. So whether you guys are trying to manifest somebody, either if, if it's an ex, if it's from somebody from your past, if it's somebody that you're currently interested in the moment, or maybe you're manifesting for a new soulmate. A lot of you guys are. A lot of you guys don't want somebody from your past. You want to have somebody new. You want to have somebody fresh in your life. Okay? So there is action that is going on here. And major offer, major commitment, more peaceful situations, peace of body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit, which is good. Okay? So it feels to me that the universe is definitely going to reward you for being obedient, we'll say, being obedient and being very crystal clear as to what it is and or who it is that you really want in your life. And if you guys have been 
trying to manifest somebody from your past or and you know get a certain relationship maybe back with an ex and get it back you know to an even playing field where the energy is 10 times better this is being manifested as well too for some of you guys okay show me this energy of the nine of pentacles trusted ancestors what is the main focus yeah look at this time energy dedication and devotion into your personal dreams and goals yes here we have a nine here we have an eight okay so some of you guys are in the eight of pentacles mode okay and you're staying strong confident you're single you're independent okay you're going after and getting what you want okay now on the relationship aspect okay somebody here is going to put in more time energy and effort into this relationship dynamic together okay this is what is being indicated and this is going to be rushed okay so let's see what the sun card is bringing in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen nineteen okay yeah it is somebody from the past you guys i just i'm calling out this energy because i see it in the cards six of cups for some of you guys, it will be somebody from your past. Somebody that really cares about you. Somebody that really loves you. Somebody who has never stopped loving you. And can be also new manifestation for somebody who does feel like you could have known them for many years. Okay, so a lot of you guys are manifesting for new soulmate. And some of you guys are getting somebody back from the past that is going to as I see it, come in correct. The energy is going to come in correct. Some of them, if you look at the imagery on the card, somebody here may be offering you flowers or a gift or a token or some form of a, a love offer or a gesture. Okay? So I'm seeing this in both directions, you guys. So for your work life, your personal dreams and goals, manifestation is here. You guys have put in this mental time and energy. The universe is going to reward you provided that you're staying diligent, okay? And you're putting this time and energy into the things that make you very passionate because there is passion here. There's passion that's coming through the sun card and there's also passion coming in through the four of wands. Some of you guys are also working numerous jobs. You may have one, you know, one, two, three jobs all at once. You know, you're working in on your money, trying to create more substance, trying to create more stability, more financial income. Some of you guys are working your asses off, okay? And you're going to get rewarded abundantly, okay? But again, on the romantic aspect, there is major offer, major commitment, and somebody here is going to be getting engaged. I'm picking up engagement. Somebody here is going to make a decision about you, Scorpio. They're going to be coming in very serious. It's like, it's like a, a, there goes my dog, like a bolt of lightning, Okay, so this is what is coming up in the cards for Friday, April 30th, 2021. Again, thank you so much, you guys, for the love and support of my channel. That's where the messages stop for today, okay, because there's no more major arcanas or aces to clarify, all right? So I will be back for more readings to get us caught up on the channel. And until next time, Scorpio, take care.